want to make now a video about uh, the Quran. This is in German language and here is in uh, Arabic language. And uh, I want to uh, explain the true what Muhammad teach and what they not understand and make evil things. Muhammad was also a prophet as the another prophet and the Gabriel angel was sent to him and the Gabriel angel was told Muhammad what he must to wrote in a book. And the angel from God was told Muhammad all the stories from the Bible. Muhammad wrote nothing new things. Muhammad wrote about Adam from the beginning, Genesis, how created God uh, the earth. And then he wrote about all the uh, Yavish uh, things about Moses and the law that is the most important. And then he wrote about Maria, Zachariah, uh, Yeshua, uh, Jesus, and all the prophets, what is in the Bible. And he wrote, and Enshura, Enshura uh, is a UI prophecy that on the end, lot of signs will be in heaven, in the sun and moon. And now I make uh, this video, uh, I will explain for the Arabic people, that they are on the wrong way when they not believe in the Bible. The Bible is a, a book where all the prophets are inside who was sent by God. And Muhammad wrote about this description and tried to teach uh, uh, the Egypt people about the law and the other prophecies that they must believe in this book in the Bible, the scrolls. I begin by Adam. Genesis in the Bible, Genesis is creation, Adam and Eva. The Shura, Shura 20 is uh, Adam. Uh, Adam, the king of kings. It's uh, uh, who study theology, who study theology will uh, see that the Gabriel angel talk in that way where every prophet talk. He also called God the king of kings, as every prophet was a God in the apocalypse also called the king of kings. So Allah, the king of kings, created the true, and then he created uh, Adam, and he gave Adam many laws, but Adam betray God. Here is written the creation of Adam and that God, Allah, the King of Kings, give Adam the man uh, many law, but he betray God. And because he betray God and forget him, uh, God was told Adam that he must go out from paradise because he was betray him. But he told Adam when you believe me after you go out from paradise and do my law, what I give you, and uh, follow this law, then you will on the last day resurrected and will live again in paradise with me. He say here exactly that what I also wrote. When Adam, the man, and his, his children uh, will believe in God and do the law, do the law and his will, he will resurrect it on the last day and can live again in paradise with God. But it depends not on the passport, it depends on the law. Because he was go out from the paradise because he break the law and not was listen God and eat from the forbidden fruit. This was the first command and uh, he break it. And he was to told God, but uh, you have one chance again to live with me when you follow all my law, what I will give you and your children also follow these laws, what I will give the prophets and then you will uh, resurrect it. Uh, on the last day and this is uh, Adam creation what is a Genesis in the Bible then uh, he wrote about Moses 
Moses and uh, Jacob and every prophet Isaac and he say this is Moses Shure this is also Shure 20 he say uh, that Moses uh, forbid forbid to worship golden bulls and everything every bass and you must study you must study what Moses wrote in books. When you not study description, you will never resurrect it. Who, what's description that Moses become on Horeb? What's description? It's the law. This is the Torah, the five first book in the Bible. Mohammed wrote about Moses and the, the, these books, what he become on Horeb. And uh, Moses bring these laws to the to the nation that they can resurrect it here is written from the mount of Horeb when you not follow this law what Allah give the people what he was told Adam I will give you many laws and when you not follow this you will never resurrect it and here is written Moses and many things are written the judgment day when you not follow this law but I will now uh, talk about the Shura, Shura 19, Shura 19 is Maria, Maria was a Yevish person and Maria is also written here in this book and here begin Mohammed, the archangel uh, Gabriel begin that in that time was a high priest in Allah's temple the high priest in Allah's temple was called Zachariah Zachariah was a Yavish person and was a high priest in Allah's temple that was built in Jerusalem and here is written he was the high priest Allah's in Allah's temple so Allah's temple must be built in Jerusalem on the mount and it's not a Moshe the high priest was uh, here say uh, Muhammad was very sad he always pray in the temple to Allah always pray that he is very old and um, his wife uh, Elizabeth is also very old and they not have children he always pray to Allah in the temple why he not become children and one day he go in the temple from, from God, from Allah, and uh, he saw a vision. And in that vision, Allah, Allah talked to, to Zachariah, the high priest, that uh, I make you also, and I make many uh, signs for you. You will become a child. I will create it a child for you. This sign is very big because I created this child, and this child, because I created this child, will be a very big prophet. You must call this prophet Johannes, Johannes from Zachariah. You must call the prophet Johannes what I will create it in your wife Boone. And this prophet will be preach and we preach again the law what they forget. And Zachariah was so also the angel in the altar by God's temple and God's temple is not in Mecca he is written where was God's temple stood in Jerusalem and Zachariah become a child from God and he was the Johannes the prophet who was preached by the Jordan God's law and repenting and in that time Zachariah have a friendship in his family, Joseph and Maria. And he was also a, so an angel, the same angel Gabriel was so Maria, what Mohammed saw also. This Gabriel angel bring a message to Maria and say to Maria, you will be also pregnant from Allah himself and no man will touch you. Allah will create it in your womb a child. And this child will be the biggest prophet. And I will give this prophet a book. This book are the Evangelium. 
the evangelium and you must call your child Jesus. He will he will be from Maria the son a big prophet and we give him a book the evangelium and he will preach the words of Allah and the law again. This is he written and everybody must follow him. Who here is written Arabic people who not believe in Jesus word what he teach and not believe Jesus true what he teach we go in hell here is written who not believe uh, what Jesus teach in this book in the evangelium we are not resurrected here is written so is a question why the arabic people hate jesus and hate zachariah who will stand in allah's temple and pray and become a prophet and they not understand they uh, they own quran they not understand even when the quran is just one small book i study all the books in three languages and they treat me for God. This sin will God, Allah, never forget. Because it's written, you must follow a woman who study the scripture. And uh, uh, you must follow this woman and re ha have respect for this woman who talk and wrote about Allah. And I wrote about all these things in three languages with Allah's wisdom. And this is a very big sin when they not listen to me. Because all the things what I wrote is written in the Quran, but they not study uh, the Quran, their own book, and just treat me. Here he wrote about Maria and uh, that God created a, a very big uh, prophet in his uh, boom. And then I want to show the Arabic people. Arabic people become uh, the Arabic land. Dubai and this land, the Arabic people become many lands, many lands. Arabic people are from the child Ismail. Ismail. And here is written, Mohammed wrote, that uh, the house of Jacob and the house of Israel become also a land. And here is written in Shura, Shura 26, that the Arabic people become Arabic lands, but the house of Israel become Canaan. This is here written, and the house of Israel will become Canaan, and uh, when God return, there will be in God's garden uh, holy water, and who will drink about this holy water will live forever. This water is in the temple where when God return, this is here written. Canaan uh, become the children of Israel because they must also become a land. The Arabic people not can rule everything on earth. They are not gods. And when they kill Eskain, their brothers, God Allah was warned them, who kill their brothers, Eskain will never resurrect it. Every people who are like Cain, who kill the brother as Abel, because Cain was killed about jealousy, Abel. God was told them, everybody who killed their brother will not resurrect it. And Mohammed was also say, the first evil angel called Iblish was Satan, not want uh, to follow God's law, and he want to destroy and just kill, kill murdering people. And who follow the Iblish evil angel, the Satan, and kill people will not resurrect it. It's written in the Quran also. So it's a question why they not follow what Muhammad teach, that the Arabic people become the Arabic lands, the Arabic uh, uh, harp in the, uh, Ireland, Arabic uh, Dubai and these things. And the children of Israel become Canaan and uh, who kill each other. He is written, uh, the Jews, the Yevish are holy, is written here. Shura 28 in the Quran, there is written the most important thing. Mohammed warned them who not follow the law of Musa, Moses, who not follow the Moses law and the paper, the scrolls, what Moses wrote, will not resurrect it. They are not resurrected. Who follow and study 
the law from the Bible, but Moses wrote, just these people we resurrected because it's Allah law and Allah was warned, Adam, you must follow my law and just then when, uh, when you follow my law, you will uh, resurrect it on the last day and they not do it. They not do it. And here is many interesting things written, Jacob and uh, about King David and Isaac and all these prophets, not just about Maria and Zachariah and Jesus and Johannes. Uh, I think that the, the, the Arabic people not can read one book and it's a shame because one book I can read in one day because I read in my life more than 10,000 books in many language. And when they not can read one book in their life, their wisdom is nothing. Is nothing. And when they want to kill people and holy Jews and prophets, what Muhammad was teach, you must believe in this. Here is written in this Shura, Shura 2, Shura 2, that God himself uh, was make a covenant, a bund, a covenant with the children of Israel and say to them, I give you a law and my wisdom and you will be a holy nation. You will be a holy nation. It's depend on the law. And therefore, the Arabic people must also follow the Moses law and the scrolls and Jesus, uh, Moses and Jesus and the holy the Holy Ghost uh, uh, is God's Spirit, God's Spirit, what He sent to every prophet as a sign, as a sign. The Holy Spirit, what, they, what the prophets become, what is written here. Muhammad wrote about uh, the Anshura. The Anshura, who study theology, is on the end, a small shura, very small shura, just like this. And the end shura is a, a prophecy. How will God return, and what kind of sign will be happen on the end? You are three. You are three. In the Bible, they say that on the end, a lot of people become dreams with the Holy Spirit from God, from Allah, and then in the moon and in the sun and in tornadoes will be very, very big signs that the last day is near. When a lot of tornadoes come, earthquakes and moon uh, uh, will be red and sun are not so, so uh, shining, then the end is near. A lot of tornadoes and in the moon and earthquakes are very big signs and a lot of people become dreams and vision. And Muhammad wrote also many shura on the end times. Uh, example, the shura 90, 91, 91, this shura is mean the sun, the sun. And he wrote about on the last day when the moon will follow the sun and a lot of signs will there. Then the day is near when Allah return. And here is a most important thing. This is what Jesus teach, what Jesus was teach, exactly in the same words was Jesus, Isa teach, in Shura, Shura 90, that on the end, when Allah return, the good people, the good people who was good and help and follow the law, will sit on the right side, and we resurrected. But these people who not follow the law and was evil, we sit on the left side by Allah's judgment day and go in a big fire in the hell and will uh, suffer there forever. This parable was exactly Jesus teach. He say on the end time, I will call my sheep on the right side who will follow me and the law. And on the left side, uh, I will send the goats in the hell, in the fire sea, where they will suffer forever. This 
exactly was teach Jesus with the same words. And I will not make a too long film, but I understand everything what is here written, every word and parable what is in the Quran written. I can show you what is it mean in the Bible, where is the same written in the Bible. I wrote about these books and then the Nazi, our colleague, our colleague, Nazi government who not believe in God and not study the scripture and who are not prophets, destroy it and delete it. When somebody deleted a messenger and God's word, go in hell. They call me, they not want that people repent. They call me, they want that every people go in hell, and when Allah return, he, they will kill with the army Allah himself because they are Nazis. And it's a shame. Every Arabic people must choose Allah or an Iblish doer from satanistic Nazi government. Uh, and every Jews must also cho choose God and the prophets or even Nazi, Nazi government and every Christian people and everybody must choose. One day resurrected, one day, one day follow God's law and the prophets or follow the, uh, follow the evildoer, uh, the Nazi evildoer who rule this world because uh, you cannot follow evildoer and God himself. It's not possible that you follow a uh, Satan and God. Uh, 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 it's not possi possible. You must choose God or Satanistic people. And everything what I told is written. Everybody can find it when they can read. And I just told you, is also written the floods, the floods, Jesaja 20, 28, and uh, Matthew 24, and every every prophet say when they not want to buy it, Allah's temple, Allah's temple is this temple where Zachariah was go inside and talk with Allah. And Allah's temple is this what Moses commanded with the law. This is here written what Moses commanded with the law. And uh, where Jesus was preached in Allah's temple. This is Allah's temple. And when they not want to build it and follow Iblish and uh, Farsh Moshe on Allah's throne, the floods continue and every city, Gentile city, will fall with the earthquake on the last day. And the earthquakes will go, go and floods when they not repent and rebel uh, against Allah, Allah's will and the prophets. I have a question for every people. When Allah sent many prophets, as Muhammad, Muhammad say, Allah sent many prophets and messenger. And uh, Muhammad wrote about all these prophets, what is in the Bible. Uh, when many prophets exist, uh, David and Jesus, Zachariah and Moses, and a lot of prophets exist, what Muhammad also wrote, it means that all these prophets have all another God, or they have one God, they have one God who was sent every generation, every generation, one prophet, one messenger, to preach repenting. It's not mean when a lot of prophets exist that... Uh, more than 100 God exists. No, Muhammad say that Allah God send all these prophets and you must believe in all these prophets. It's not mean uh, when Jesus exists, that Jesus have another God and David have another God and Moses have another God and Johannes have another God and Zachariah have another God and Maria have another God and every prophet have another God. This is not written in Muhammad, uh, Muhammad's book that every prophet have another God. No, we have one God and one God sent all the prophets and messengers with the same message, repenting, follow Moses' law and be good and listen. And when they not understand this, a man, a sick man, where we understand what I told in 20 years, but this generation not under, understand in 20 years what I wrote and uh, make films, and this is a shame. Thank you.